This video discusses configuring virtual numbers in the track drive platform using our integrations wizard. Um, this would allow you to have SIP in from anywhere. Um, we do special SIP integration uh, with Zadarma because they have a, a nice little API to, uh, to have us sync up their numbers. Um, however, any other provider, if you have a, a major provider you'd like us to make a custom configuration for we can do that like we did for Zadarma but for the most part you can just do uh, the setup on virtual numbers now in here you can either put in one phone number and say add that or you can drop a list of numbers here in the CSV format with number as the title of the, of the header and then just list the numbers and you can have them from any country in the world the uh, nice thing here is if someone wanted to sip into me uh, from their system, I could just do anything. 1719, um, I, I did this number here, it spelled out capital because I was doing one for the uh, person in capital. And I can add more virtual numbers, doing them manually or batch post them here. I can then pick the offer that I want it to belong to. So I'm going to do the student loan consolidation and I can say that they belong to a number pool. So if I was trying to do you know, 100 numbers from a, a system, I could just select number pool here and put them all in the pool and then edit the uh, number that I want to be static. Any numbers, delete the pool from it so that I can maintain those as static numbers and not part of a pool. So it's very exciting, even if you're buying virtual numbers from Japan from some VoIP system, we can actually still optimize those numbers. So I can go ahead and say create virtual numbers. Now this will come back and tell me the numbers it created in this session and the SIP address that the person would forward to you. Now TrackDrive requires that we know the IP addresses that are going to be sending calls to our system. So we will ask uh, anyone that you're trying to integrate with SIP into TrackDrive that you get a list of valid IPs that we need to whitelist. But I would simply give this value to my publisher or to the third party VoIP system to point to us to allow SIP in, and that's all there is to virtual numbers. Um, under call routing and numbers, if I had a lot of virtual numbers from all over the place, if I do the search and click carry type virtual numbers, I can narrow it down just to the virtual numbers, or in the integrations tab, uh, there's the virtual numbers tab here as well to jump to your virtual numbers. Um, but that's how you would get someone to SIP in to the track drive version 2 platform from any VoIP provider in the world.